Progress is being made at the new William Penn Community Stadium thanks to drier weather. But the first kickoff is only weeks away. Workers were rolling out the green carpet this week installing the stadium's turf. CRI and OSP's Jason Madison brings you up to speed on this developing story. It's good. In three weeks, both Penn and Oski High football teams plan to play their first game in the new stadium. Will the field be ready? If you'd asked me two months ago if we were going to play out here, I was very doubtful, as were a lot of people in the community. Well, of, of course I had had some doubts, you know, there was a long way to go. Honestly, I didn't think that we'd be this far, and, and uh, a lot of that depended on the weather. The elements cooperated last month with only four days of rain in July, compared to 16 in June, so contractors have been able to move quickly on getting the field ready. When you walk out here and you look and see how many people are out here working and how far it's come in the last six, six to eight weeks, it's just really unbelievable what's happened here. These guys have, have done a heck of a job getting to, to this point. What was once a 3D rendering has evolved into something that's more concrete, with results you can begin to see with your own eyes. You know, we've seen it on paper for the last year and now we can see it in reality. It's just it's phenomenal. So far, post and handrails line the track. Concrete has been formed for the bleachers on the home side. Locker rooms are in place. The scoreboard is standing strong and one of the biggest pieces of the puzzle has been laid. The new artificial turf. This week alone, six workers have sliced and sewn the field together, as well as cutting the numbers and hash markings. The artificial grass is guaranteed for eight years, but has an estimated lifespan of 15 to 20 years with little cost and maintenance required. Another benefit of the new turf is how it brings Oskaloosa Sports up to par with other local programs. A lot of the schools in our conference have gone to turf fields. Appella, Appella Christian, Norwalk now has a turf field, Newton has a turf field, and it's going to give us on the same level playing field as the other schools that are playing on it. At this point, there are still parts of the project missing, like rubberized coating for the track, visitor sized seating, and permanent bathrooms. But Musco community coordinator Mike Gipple says what you see now isn't what you're going to get. We don't want people to start getting blinders on at an early stage in this game and, and come and say, well, this isn't done or this is done. And, you know, th this year it's more about learning as we go. And, and the, the important thing with this project, like any project that somebody does, is it continues to evolve. The way I would look at it earlier uh, when we released plans for this project, you know, it was that overview of the pretty green picture with the track. Uh, any, uh, any bit of that could be completed this year or all of it could. The first event to be held at this new stadium will be the Oskaloosa High Old Shoe Game. And according to OHS Athletic Director Kevin Peterson, the field will be ready to go. So it looks as though they'll be ready to play August 19th. But as for the whole project being done... It, it just depends on a lot of factors. You know, funding, uh, construction schedules, weather. You know, that's going to dictate a lot of that going forward. Reporting for CRI Weekly News, I'm Jason Madison. Thanks, Jay Mad. Coordinators say the entire stadium project will cost $7.5 million. Kevin Peterson says the old community stadium will still be used by the middle school and stay open for public use.